Tesla says that it's robo taxis, it's EVs, and now driving without safety drivers, just driving by themselves in the United States. Here is the report and here's what we know so far. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Great to have you with us. And I want to say a big thank you to all those of you who are members of the channel. You can become a member by clicking on the link in the description and signing up. And that'll give you access to videos that are not on the main channel, including my recent interview with Sandy Munro, the full interview. If you've driven through Austin, Texas in the past two years, you've seen driverless Waymos, you've seen them in other, other cities around, around America, but they are geofenced. They do have to be driven on HD maps. It's a little different to Tesla's strategy. And those Waymos will soon have some new competition. The CEO of Waymo has absolutely destroyed Tesla on numerous occasions, says that Tesla's robo-taxis are vaporware, they're fake. I don't agree with that. Having driven one, or not driven one, being, being driven in one, I think the technology is actually incredibly impressive. I'm not a skeptic. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's taken a long time, but I've always believed that it would eventually happen. It appears that it is. Hey guys, I've got uh, a, an EcoFlow Delta II right here and the Delta Pro, which is about four times bigger than this. I've used them over the past two months many times. I didn't think I would, but I've needed them. There's been electrical problems in the house. There's been uh, massive storms here in Australia. They've been absolutely, for me, game-changing, life-saving, up to 45% off sale. I'll put a link in the description, and I think that's on for the next three weeks. So click on that link. You can take advantage and get one of these batteries for a really good price. According to Musk, CEO, the automaker has been testing its Model Y robot taxis with no safety drivers for several days. For the past several days, Tesla has been testing self-driving Model Y cars with no one in driver's seat on Austin public streets with no incidents. A month ahead of schedule, next month, first self-delivery from factory to customer. So he's saying the cars are going to drive themselves to customers which is crazy, and that would save Tesla a huge amount of money. Tesla promised to launch its rubber taxi service in June earlier this year. So, I mean, it is a bit of a, here's what Inside EV says, it should come as no surprise that the automaker is working on the last steps needed to ready its fleet for the roads. Now, Inside EVs and, and Electric and all these other guys, they have slammed Tesla. Oh, hundreds of times saying this was not going to happen, this was a lie, it was fake news, vaporware. Strange that they're changing their tune now. Musk says this particular round of testing began about a month ahead of schedule, which backs up rumors that the pilot service is planned for a mid-June launch. Apparently, June the 12th is when they plan on doing it. So, ahead of schedule, uh, here, here you go. Ahead of schedule is still behind, as per Inside EVs, the original promise of a million robot taxis on the road by the end of 2020, and several other related unfulfilled promises since. You know what I'd say? Water under the bridge. If Tesla can pull this off, it's great. It's an American car company, and you know what? If you look at the numbers, you look at the figures, the data, there's a very good chance there'll be no American car companies left in 10 or 15 years from now. If Tesla can stick around, at least you've got something left. That's the way I see it. The company plans to do a slow rollout. Tesla says it plans to geofence the cars to the safest parts of Austin with only improved riders, which represents a big shift in the way Tesla would normally do things. So they're going to see how things go, make sure there's no accidents, and then progressively change the areas that the cars can drive in. Tesla will gradually roll out its service with a small number of Model Ys owned by Tesla, apparently 10 to 12 cars. Musk has previously said that he believes the program will be about 1,000 cars within a few months. We'll see, hey? Meanwhile, Tesla is working to hire a small army of human teleoperators responsible for monitoring the fleet if something goes wrong. And this is what General Motors and Waymo did. General Motors did it until they disbanded their program. Waymo did it for, for years and years and years and they still do do it. So Waymo vehicles still are monitored by humans. Don't know how many humans, but there's still some humans that monitor the cars. Federal regulators are seemingly in the dark as to what's happening. They say, earlier this month, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration sent Tesla a lengthy list of questions to answer out the services it plans to offer in Austin and beyond. I should point out though, 
Elon Musk is going to be saying, you know what, I spent $500 million or whatever the crazy number was on getting Trump elected, so make sure this happens. I'm not into this kind of stuff. I don't think money should be involved in politics at all, but that's going to have some effect here, surely. Critics are obviously going to jump on Tesla. If there's any crashes, you'll hear about it everywhere. Every news agency around the world is going to be reporting on it. Uh, you know, and critics are still saying it's not going to happen. They're still saying it's it's um, it's not good enough. It's not real. There's too many problems. I've been watching um, numerous videos almost on a daily basis showing Tesla's full self-driving in the United States. I think it's a better driver than 99% of human drivers. I think it's incredible. Will it struggle in certain conditions? Snow, uh, nighttime rain situation, fogginess. It might. That certainly might be an issue. But in normal conditions, it'll be totally fine from what I've seen. But I could be wrong. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. Bye-bye. The race is on for the robo-taxi market. In fact, the robo-taxi wars are really heating up with some companies just attacking each other outright and saying some pretty, some pretty wild stuff. WeRide and Uber have expanded their partnership with a robo-taxi service covering... 15 more cities in addition to the cities that they're already in. Chinese startup Momenta has partnered with Uber to launch robotaxi services in global markets. And then we've got Waymo and Tesla. Guys, this is pretty wild. I, I've got to say I'm pretty shocked to see the CEO of Waymo throwing shade like this, saying that Tesla is lying about its robotaxi service. It's fake. It's not actually going to happen. At least that's certainly what they're implying. It's getting uh, it's getting very, very interesting out there now, throwing shade all over the place. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to have you with us. How do you feel about this? I've got to say, first of all, I drove a Tesla Cybertruck. Well, I didn't drive it. The truck drove itself in the United States, in California. I couldn't believe how good it was on full self-driving. I drove a Tesla on full self-driving in, in the United States when I was there. This was about six months. Wow, well, I can't believe it's been six months. Crazy. But it was about six months ago. And it was insanely good. There was no interventions for me. To be honest, it wasn't a huge trip. But I have seen some videos since then that, that shocked me. I couldn't believe how good it's become. It sucks in Australia. It's, <laughs> it doesn't really work here. It's not really, it's not really approved here in Australia. China, not, it's all right, but not great. But in the United States, it's amazing. But Waymo, the CEO, he's saying it's not. And it's, he says it's a fake. There are many ways to fake a robo-taxi service, he said. I'm curious to know he's actually gone for a drive in one. John Krafsik, Waymo's longtime CEO until 2021 and auto industry veteran, said that Tesla Cybercab won't work in a new interview. He said that Tesla is faking its upcoming robo-taxi launch in Austin in June. 